Horses are stepping out from the front paddock for race 12, second division of the U.S. Pacing Championship for $185,000. Post time in seven minutes. Number one is One the West, 2009 Dan Patch Award winner, fastest Breeders' Crown performer in history, Dave Miller driving for Stroll and Stable, William J. Robinson and James Kohler. Ben Franklin winner, 5'8", world champion, Vintage Master Dan Dubé for Brittany Farms and Brian Monison Rev Trust. With a mark of 149 and 2, Blue Ridge Western, Kevin McDermott and Francis Azer looking for a U.S. Pacing Championship sweep today. Yannick Jingra in the bike. The 2009 Hoosier Cup winner, Mr. Wiggles, Corey Callahan for Elmer Fannin and George Teague Jr. With a mark of 148 and 4, Jeremy's successor, the 5, owned by Andrea Ann Hill, with Brian Sears. He won a graduate elimination and a world record of 147 and 2. Better sweet, John Campbell with the 6 for John Cancelier. And an open class winner here, multiple open class winner, 149-3 mark, Corky Barron, the 7, Hall of Famer Mike Lachance driving for Steven Schneider and William Siegel. That's the field for race 12, second division of the U.S. Pacing Championship, exacta trifecta, start of our late pacing pick four. Time for the second division of the U.S. Pacing Championship, free for all pacers, $185,000, field of seven on gate. Here they come. The Rob, Jeremy's successor, had his nose on the gate, and Brian Sears sends him the favorite vintage master moving up on the inside. Better sweet there, darting quickly with early speed, and Campbell engaging Jeremy's successor around the first turn. Better sweet on the outside, urged on to take the lead. Early tussle here as Sears steps on the gas with Jeremy's successor, and off stride goes better sweet. He got back pacing very quickly. It's a fast quarter. Corky Barron is second. Opening quarter for Jeremy's successor, 25 and four as he hustles off the turn. Corky Barron moving up second now. Better Sweet after the quick bobble is back in third. It's a gap of two to Vintage Master, fourth in the back stretch. Then comes One the West with Blue Ridge Western and Mr. Wiggles at the back. Single foul and they settle down up front now. Jeremy's successor. Sears has a good strong hold of him. Corky Barron at 65 to 1 in that pocket spot with Mike Lachance. Better Sweet is third. Vintage Master, the whipped up there in fourth. The half 52 and four fifths. Fastest half today. One the West is fifth as they tighten in now. Blue Ridge Western is sixth. And then comes Mr. Wiggles on the far turn. Campbell goes in attack mode again with Better Sweet, who comes after Jeremy's successor. Better Sweet on the outside. Vintage Master in gear now with Dubé, third on the outside with good momentum. Corky Barron back to fourth on the inside sharply. Around him comes One the West. Then it's Blue Ridge Western and Mr. Wiggles, and they set sail for home. Better Sweet takes over. Better Sweet. Here comes Vintage Master with Dubé on the outside. One, 20, and three. Amazing three quarter time. Better Sweet on the outside. Vintage Master. Here comes One the West. Dave Miller with the left handed urging. One the West takes the lead and draws clear. One the West. Won the West, last year's champion and Breeders' Crown winner is home free in 148-1. Over Blue Ridge Western, it was up for second. Then it was Vintage Master and Better Sweet. Burke and the Buckeye, Dave Miller in the sulky for the victory behind Won the West today in the U.S. Pacing Championship, second division in 148-1, and won his fourth win this season. Making our trophy presentation, Mr. Peter Koch, Racing Secretary and Director of Racing here at the Meadowlands. Bob Hayden is standing by. The one, one the West pays, 680, 460, 240. Three, Blue Ridge Western, 1220 and 420, and two, Vintage Master, 210. One, three, exacta, 8360. A one, three, two, trifecta, $180. The Dime Super, 4842. One, three, 
two six. Post time for the 13th race in 15 minutes at 512. It's the Lady Liberty final for $248,000. Exacta trifecta, pick three and dime super. Shazar here, fastest Breeders' Crown winner of all time is back. And Ron Burke and Dave Miller. Dave, won the West, is he as good right now as he was at his best last year, you think? Well, yeah, you know, certainly. I mean, he didn't have to go that much today, but, uh, you know, 48-1, uh, and one, that's, that's pretty good. I'd say he's as good as he was. What kind of trip did you work out today? I, I let Danny get around me. I was just going to follow him, and uh, there was enough horses there. I didn't think he'd make it back to the front. He was third over, um, but at the top of the stretch, he, he kicked in. You surprised he raced this well with the time off? He, no, I mean, yeah, I, I thought he would race great. You know, I, I went over last week and trained him pretty good. He seemed great. And then Ronnie said he trained him back, said he was awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, he, he's, a, he, he's a good horse. I mean, he shows up every time, and uh, he's really a horse that uh, I appreciate. Okay, congratulations, Dave Miller. Ron Burke, uh, you did not race in the Franklin final. What happened there? He came out of the Franklin uh, eliminations with just a little bit of swelling in a leg, which he's never had. And uh, the owners are great. They, you know, they're never going to put this horse's career in uh, risk. And uh, we just scratched him and pointed him for these races. And every day he's got better, and now he seems fine. So won the West last year when he won the Breeders' Crown up sitting there. Is he heading back in the same direction or maybe already there? Yeah, no, actually, I think this year he's, you know, as good as he ever been. You know, he's closing the gap on Shark Chester, but, you know, you know, Shark Jester's still king until we can dethrone him. So, you know, basically it's, you know, he's as good as he's going to get. And I hopefully we'll have a good draw for the Hopman eliminations. Okay, maybe we'll see you back in the winner's circle in a couple weeks. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, congratulations to the Connections. Won the West, 148-1. and one.